today I wanted to make a video flipping through my nursing school planner from January until May just to kind of show you guys how I've used this planner over the last semester. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, all of my planner supplies come from The Happy Planner and I have everything that I use linked down below in the description box. So if you wanna check anything out, you're more than welcome to. The planner that I specifically used for second semester is the Supermom Mini Dashboard Layout. Now I have two planners here and you're probably wondering why, right? I actually stored some of this planner in here because it got really thick. I also have two planners in here. So I have my mini catch-all that I use. This is the Geo Dreams one. I haven't used it in the last few weeks um, and it just has May in here now. But the beginning of this thing is where my nursing school planner is at and I'll show you guys that. So we'll start here. I'm not going to take it all out. We're just going to leave it in here. This is just a way that I store it. See, I put a sticky note on it. It says taken out of nursing school planner so I know where this is supposed to go back to when it's finished. This is also how I store the inserts from my um, mini catch-all planner that I just showed you. That goes in here as well. And then these are, what is this? Oh, this is the rest of my fitness planner that starts in July. So I have the rest of it. It's actually sitting right here right now. So. See, January, February, March, April, May, June, and then July is in here. So all of my planners that I use, the extra ones that I have taken out are stored in here. So that's um, if you guys are wondering where you can store things at, it's a great idea to stick everything on one set of discs and then you have it all in one place. Okay, so the first page here is just the year at a glance. This was for 2020. I never did use it, so it wasn't a big deal for me to take that out. Actually, let me back up for here for just a second. And I will show you, this is what the cover page looks like. And then there's the 2019 year at a glance. And then it would have the 2020 over here on this side. Um, so that's that page. I don't did not use any of these throughout the entire semester. These are not, I really don't use these very often, period, regardless of what planner it is. Okay, so here's January. This is the month at a glance. And for these, for every month of the semester, I use these to um, note when things are due. So, and I also have everything color coded, which I'll explain all that as we go. But I just have a few stickers in here. It wasn't nothing crazy. I needed to make sure that the mini was going to work for nursing school, that I didn't have too much stuff that I needed to get a bigger size planner so I didn't go crazy with January. Turns out it worked out fantastically because I only put nursing school stuff in here. So I didn't have a bunch of other things to go in here as well. So this like um, light blue teal color is all psychology. And as you can see, everything was usually due on Wednesdays and Fridays and that was consistent throughout the entire semester. This um, kind of, it's like a, it's a wannabe purple. What color is that? I can't think of it. Oh my gosh. I swear I know my colors, you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, that color there, this mysterious color that Ashley can't think of, that's all for nursing. Um, as you can see here, I have nursing here. I actually had that on the wrong date, so I put a little arrow to indicate that it needs to go up. The green is for microbiology, or green, that's not green, that's purple. The purple is for microbiology, and then I also had anatomy, but you won't see anything for anatomy in the monthlies because our instructor, our anatomy instructor was kind of a go with the flow instructor. She didn't have set dates for exams. Um, we would have an exam once we got through that unit and usually she would give you about a week, week and a half notice that the exam was going to be coming up. So I could have went in and wrote it in, but I didn't. You'll see it's in throughout the weekly pages. So that's how I use my month at a glance. Also, these little things here, <clears throat> excuse me, the crosses, those are to indicate clinicals. So I had clinicals on Wednesday. Um, this was classes begin, so they started the first week. This I had a clinical lab. Clinical lab is where they taught us everything that we needed to know for skills checkoffs. And then I started my clinicals. Um, little boxes like this just indicate that there was no class. And then we dive into the first week. You guys, this was my first time actually using the dashboard layout. Um, and it was really nerve wracking at first, but you guys will see how I had developed over time and how I got really good at it. I'm not like trying to brag or anything by no means, but I love the dashboard layout now and I love decorating it. So this first week of January, classes had not started yet. 
did they start here? Yes, they started the next week. So this week, I just had like to do's over here, organize things I needed to get ready, um, tax information, book list, I needed to pick up books, that kind of thing. So there really wasn't a whole lot here. Um, that was kind of it. Second week, I started to do this, which I'll explain in a second, which I actually consistently kept up with. Um, so as you can see, there's different sections. And I had a section per class. So nursing's here, psychology's here, and then microbiology and anatomy's here. This was a, gen a general to-do list. And then over here, I would write down things that were specific to days. Um, if I had something due, if I needed to study, whatever. This up here, I initially started writing in like class, like my daily schedule, basically, in a nutshell. Um, but let me show you guys. Let's see. Let me go to one here that is blank. This is what it looked like before I would decorate it. So errands to buy, calls, emails, bills to pay. That says what's for dinner. Those things are irrelevant to nursing school. So I had to cover them up to make it work for me. But I love this planner. I think it's so stinking cute. And I just covered that right there with washi. Oh my gosh, you guys, I remember this spread. It was so stinking adorable. Um, still had a to-do here. And you'll see as we go, this kind of starts to change. This whole little colored box over here does. Um, anything that's like the dots right here, I use mild liners. And I do believe that I have them linked down below so you guys can check those out as well. But I use mild liners. Okay, moving on. This week, I love this color scheme. <laughs> as you can see, like the to-do list is, it It was just not important really. Like I didn't really have anything else to do that wasn't already pertaining to a class that already has a section, if that makes sense. So that's why the to-do list is blank. Yeah, that's kind of it. Like you'll see, I had checkoffs this day. I also had clinicals. Final week of January. So here I had exams and you can see because I just used boxes because that's what it was and I did not, you'll see that there's on exam weeks you'll be able to tell because there's usually not a lot of things wrote in over here because literally all I'm doing is studying and I don't need to go bonkers with writing things down. So that was that week and then again didn't use that. This is into February. This was February monthly. And while I'm thinking about it, I actually set my monthlies up for the entire semester before the semester had started. And I do that so it's already ready. Like I had mentioned here, I didn't do much in January because I was afraid the mini wasn't going to work for me. But regardless, I went ahead and set up the entire planner because if it did work, I wouldn't have to stress about this. I could put my focus on building my weekly spreads and then obviously doing my, my schoolwork because hello, that's really important. So um, same here, it's just decorated a little bit different. Colors stayed the same. Clinicals, psychology, nursing, and then micro. And this is probably one of my most favorite spreads that I have ever done in here. Um, stickers coming up. Side note, the big happy planner stickers fit perfectly over this box. You have to trim some off the bottom because they come down to like where the bottom of that box stops, but they fit perfectly on there. I love it. So if you guys don't like that color, um, cause like every single week's a, a colored, you can cover that up with big stickers. So this is probably one of my favorite, all time favorite spreads in this planner. So here I had nursing, I had psychology here, and then I combined an anatomy and microbiology. Typically for an A and P and micro, I didn't have a whole lot of stuff to do. Um, it was usually just studying or making notes. So that's why I could combine them. As you can see, and you'll see this every single week, psychology, there was a ton of stuff. Nursing, there's usually a lot, or it's just strictly studying. So I did the little washi here. I thought that was super cute. Okay, so throughout the planner, you'll see little flags or different little things other than my um, mild liner dots to indicate important things. So clinicals, you'll see it on every Wednesday that I had clinicals, it was here. Exam, exam, exam. So those were to indicate that. And then I just used the mild liners as regular to-do lists. But I love this. These stickers all come from the um, Super Mom sticker book. Probably the mini sticker book if I had to guess. Actually, no, probably come from both. 
that's from the mini and I can tell you that those ones are from the the regular size super mom sticker book moving on I kind of mimicked it again because I said like I said I love that spread it was so stinking cute love the little super mom gal all right oh this one was super cute too I remember this um this sticker here was from one of the I think it was a memory keeping sticker book which is actually where I got that one from and that one from the memory keeping. Again, they're, they're sized for a big planner, but y'all can use them in any size. Obviously, I'm using big planner stickers in my mini, so this one's super stinking cute. Love that one. See how I indicated clinicals, that I had to practice skills, I had to check off here, exam, quiz. And then here's the next week. So these were to indicate important things and you guys will see throughout here some weeks are crazy busy and then some weeks there's not so much but on the weeks that there's not so much I was always studying something um I just don't didn't write it down I didn't feel the need to this is where why is this here where did I put this here for March April May June okay that's right so I've got up until no Oh yeah, I have, uh, figure out what month it is. I have up until June inside of here of my, um, that planner. So I have that marked so I can get to this easier. But that, that we're done with. So we've got um, January and February in there. And then we go into here and we start with March. So this is March monthly overview love the super mom stickers those are probably probably my favorite but um here we have spring break again psychology nursing micro clinicals nothing really changed other than the the decorating okay so then we go into the first week of march this was actually spring break and i did not get into this planner hardly at all for spring break long enough to decorate it write some things down and then i ditched it um i kind of enjoyed my spring break and I also studied on spring break, but I mostly enjoyed my spring break. Um, we didn't go anywhere for spring break, but it was still nice to have that week off. And then we started back, as you can tell. And I absolutely love this spread too. This one's probably my third favorite spread, and you guys will see my second one here shortly, but this was probably my third. And I kind of mimicked, mimicked it here, just with different color um, floral stickers. So again, we're back here to this. This was my first OB clinical because the first half of the semester we had med surge clinicals. Second half was OB and it started here. So psychology, anatomy, and micro, and then I had nursing up here. And then if you see flags on the weekends, those were always indicated for like my top priority for the weekend because these would take so much time that usually I couldn't really plan a whole lot of other things to do on the weekend um, related to school. So like... um Kahoot games. If you guys have never heard of Kahoot and you're in nursing school, go check it out. Or if you're taking general classes, you don't even have to be in nursing school, but if you're taking general classes, go check out Kahoot. It's a really fun game that you can play that helps you learn. It helps me anyways. Helps me to learn anyways. I don't know if it'll help you, but go check it out. It's free. So it's not gonna hurt anything. I have I'm like a hands-on learner. Like I need to write things down. I can't just read something and learn it. Like if you that's you, go away. I'm jealous. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but moving on, this one was super cute too. I loved it. These little stickers were from the new, um, well, newer Colorful Boxes sticker book. I think these were from the journaling, but I, I'm honestly not sure. Moving on, I did the, um, this must be, yes, I remember actually now, this is about the time starting here that I got those newer sticker books that had um, been released here recently. Not with the Wrong Wrong collaboration, the ones before that. Um, this was all from the fun florals and then just colorful boxes, but I can tell that I got the new stickers because I started to use them more often. And so these were the Squad Girls, the newer ones. So you had nursing, psych, AMP, and micro there. And then we go into April. In April, I use the old squad girls. Same thing here, just psych, 
Um, oh, look, see, there's actually dark green. I don't know if you guys can tell those kind of look, they probably look about the same color, but they're not. This one and this one is for anatomy. So see, we knew what was coming up, so I put it in here. That was anatomy too. Nursing, clinical, 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 and then the rest was psychology. First week, oh, these colors, you guys, they give me freaking life. I love these so much. Um, so see, psych, I just had an exam, so I kind of made it look a little bit different, and th that lets that had let me decorate a little bit more because normally I would have psych in a full thing and it would take up the entire thing. So that was kind of nice. I set some goals for myself that week. I just love this little one. It's so stinking cute. Wait a minute. Is this it? Hold on, you guys. I'm looking. This is my, se yes, this is my second favorite spread in here. Y'all, if you don't know this about me, I love absolutely anything nautical, coastal, ocean, beach vibes, all the things. So anytime that I get a spread like this going, I absolutely love it. So this is definitely my second most favorite spread in this planner so far. Sorry, I can't. I have um, important mermaid things to do. Mermaid vibes. So stinking cute. So cute. This was actually one of those, um, it's a card. Let me show you really quickly because I thought, I actually, um, seen someone else do this and I thought that's genius so and I don't remember who it was or I'd tell you guys but it is out of this accessory pack and so I took one of these cards from down here my voice is probably getting louder I'm closer to the mic sorry I took one of these cards and I just sized it to fit there and I cut it and then um, used double-sided tape to stick it down so that's how I did that and that's just washi to cover up the stuff up there. So that one was super cute. Loved it. This one was a really cute one too. Um, this turned out really, really, really cute. I love the little bicycles and the floral. So let me see. This was almost towards the end of April. Yeah, you guys will start seeing it go away here shortly. Because the semester is almost over. Which is, it feels crazy. Like, this is my first week off. And I feel like I should be studying something. Like, I can't rest and be content like I feel like I need to be doing something so okay and then moving on this week yes this was a crazy week I had my nursing exam my HESI exam a lab practical a microbiology quiz psycho week for sure um and as you can see I actually left my tab in there even though we still had another week of classes left which I'll explain in a second but um, I I did not get in here very much at this point from this point forward I actually pretty much stopped using it because it was strictly just studying and I needed to spend as much time focused on that as I possibly could um, so I just kind of let it go but my plan was to come in to come back and back plan in it but honestly I sat down to do that and I was like uh eh, Nah, I'm okay. I don't want to do it. This starts with May, and as you can see, I didn't even decorate May. Um, I didn't decorate May because I knew we had finals here, but I didn't know exactly what days whenever I had set the whole entire planner up to begin with it before school started. I wasn't really worried about May. We only had class the first week, and it was finals, so I wasn't really worried about the rest of it. I didn't know for sure if I'd be using this planner moving forward, which I'm not right now, and I'll use it starting when summer classes start back up, so... Here is where I started to back plan. This week was, was this our finals? These were our finals, finals week, right? Yes, yes, this was finals week and I had started to back plan in it and then I just stopped. Uh, that's when I decided like, no, I'm not really liking this. It's not turning out the way I want it to. So I just left it and this is where we're at. And on Friday, I had learned that I had passed the entire semester so um we actually had our nursing quiz our nursing quiz our nursing final on Tuesday found out Tuesday that I had passed nursing Tuesday we also had our microbiology final I didn't find out Wednesday until um that I had passed micro um and then it wasn't and actually until third I had passed the final but it wasn't until Friday I think that I found out for sure that I had passed microbiology y'all seriously micro was so stinking hard for me 
Like, I passed that class by the hair on my chin. I kid you not. Um, so thankful that I passed it. The way our university does it is that um, you can pass nursing, but if you fail any other class, you're out of the program. So, very nerve-wracking, anxiety-ridden week, that's for certain. And then we move on, and I started to do a spread in here, but I didn't like the way it was going or how it was turning out, which now that I look at it, it's really not bad. Like, I could have, definitely could have salvaged this. But um, I just decided then to go in here and use my mini horizontal planner for the next month until I start classes back. So that was it for May. I'm not going to use it. Okay, so... Classes start back in June, and I just want to let you guys know in advance, I will be setting up this um, nursing school planner prior to summer classes starting. So if you guys want, I will be doing a video, so keep an eye out on that, and I will have every month set up and just kind of walk you guys through how I do all of that stuff. So um, that'll be coming up, and for now, I'm just going to use my mini horizontal because I think it's so stinking cute, and I love these colors. It's so subtle. So anyways, guys, that has been the planner that I have used for the second semester of nursing school. Absolutely love it. If you're watching this and you've never used Happy Planner products, I highly encourage you to go do so just because it's 100% customizable. Like anybody who's in nursing school, if they message me and they're like, what planner should I get? I'm like, get a Happy Planner. Because literally you can take everything out and put everything back in makes it great for nursing school because you can really customize it. It makes it great for any anything you've got going on because you can really customize it. But that is the planner that I use for this semester, you guys. If you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to ask. And as always, do all the things that YouTubers harass you to do, like subscribe, hit that little bell thing so you're getting notified. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I don't even know if there's anything else other than those three things, but go do all the things. Go do all the things. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.